Welcome to the tutorial on using templates in Dreamweaver CS6. By the end of this, you'll be able to quickly put together a multi-page website. First, let me describe to you how the templating system in Dreamweaver works. Dreamweaver creates an HTML file that holds all of the stuff that does not change on the many pages of your website. So, if you want the exact same navigation, the same header, the same footer, which you probably do, uh, you put all of that in the template file. So the way this works is that you, you create this template and you set it up how you want. Then you create HTML pages that are linked back to the template. These are called child pages. The really nice thing about this is that if you want to make a change in the template, Dreamweaver will update all of the HTML files that use that template. Now that's pretty cool, but not all of your pages are going to be clones of the template. Your home page is going to have an overview of the site and your About Us is going to have a history of your company. The child pages aren't simply clones of the parent. Uh, what we need is a way to add custom content to each page, and this is done with something called editable regions. In the original template, you'll mark a div or some other area as being an editable region. All the child pages will inherit that editable region and allow you to put whatever you want into, into them. This allows you to create a segregation between the common elements of every page on your site and the things that are unique to each page. If you update the template, it will only update things outside of the editable regions. If you change content in a page's editable region, it won't affect your template. So let's see how to do this. First I'll need a folder that's going to hold my site. I've got one already on the desktop. You can see that I've included an images folder and a work folder. All of the GIFs and JPEGs and PNGs that I need for my site are going to go in my images folder. The work folder will hold everything the client gives me and anything I need that uh, goes to create files that go in my site but doesn't actually get linked in the site. So I can put Photoshop files in here. I'll create GIFs and JPEGs from the Photoshop files but I don't actually want to lose them. So put them in this work folder. You can see I've got a bunch of folders here for anything I might need. Feel free to add or delete folders as you see fit. The underscore in the folder name is just so that this folder appears alphabetically first every time I open this this folder. So now in Dreamweaver I'm going to turn that into a site. Go to site, new site, I'm going to call this template, I'm going to go browse for that folder on my desktop. There it is. Click select and save. Good. You can see in my files panel that I've got access to the to that folder. Now I need to create a blank template to start with. Click File New, choose a blank page, HTML template, and don't choose any layout. Choose none. For the doc type, I'm going to choose HTML5 and click Create. It's showing me my code view and you can see that it looks like a pretty standard HTML document except for these little green comments that have been added and that's Dreamweaver's editable design code. Okay, here is a wireframe. Uh, this is what I want all my pages to look like. It's just a helpful aid that I created in Illustrator so that I could define all of the different areas that I want to make up my pages. You can see that there's a header a horizontal navigation area, content for all the articles and things that go on my site, a sidebar area, and a footer. And it's all surrounded by a giant container. So these are the boxes. Each one of them represents the different tags that I'll need to create on the page. And this is a fairly simple two-column design. So to do this, I need a div with an ID of container surrounding the entire design. And I can do that in the insert panel with the insert div tag button. On that one, all I have to do is type the ID that I want, and I want it to be container. And there it is, it's on the page. In my code view, you'll see that there's not much to it. It's just a div with an ID of container. I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to manually type in the rest of this. So the first thing that I need, and these are all HTML5 tags, is that I'm going to have my header and I'm going to add in the uh, a label for each one. After that is going to come my nav area. You see Dreamweaver is automatically closing them for me. 
my content is going to be a section tag. I'm going to call it content, but use a section tag. Asides are often used for what we call sidebars. I think I misspelled that. That should be a side, not a sides. It is singular. And the last one's going to be footer. And that one is a footer. There we go. You can see my design view. There they all are. But my design isn't quite finished. Now I have to create the CSS that is going to go along with this. So I'm going to go File New. And I'm going to create a CSS file. And I need to save this. I'm going to call it styles.css. And all of the different tags that are inside here, I'm going to need to drop in this style CSS file in just a moment. First off, once you have the CSS styles file saved, close it. And then back in your template file, open up the CSS styles panel, which I've got right here. Down at the bottom, I can click the attach style sheet button, and I can go browse for it. There it is, right on the top level. Click OK. For right now, it's going to give me a document relative path. It'll fix that shortly. When I click OK, click OK again, and now you'll see that I have source code and styles.css up at the top of my page, and I can switch between the HTML and the CSS. So, in my HTML, I need to create uh, CSS rules for container, header, nav, section, aside, and footer. In my CSS, I'm going to have pound, container, header, nav, section, side, and footer. And you can see I refresh the styles panel, and now I've got rules for each one of these things, and I can control them independently. Now, I'm going to go back to my source code and into design view. So I've got my template. I haven't saved it yet, but it's got it's linked to the CSS and all that. If I try and save it now, Dreamweaver is going to give me an error, uh, telling me it's now telling me that I haven't created any editable regions, and so that's bad. Click OK, or I'm sorry, click Cancel. I have to create an editable region, and I'm going to do that in my content area. Highlight the word content, and you can right click, and there is a templates menu here. One of the options is new editable region. The keyboard command is control alt v. You should give this a descriptive name, and since it's my content area, I'm just going to call it content. And you get a little green box around it. This is now one of those editable regions, and it just has a nice little label above it. Now if I try to save, I didn't get an error. It's telling me I can save this. You can name your templates anything you want, but I find names like template1, template2, template3 are fairly useful unless you're going to have lots and lots of templates. We're just going to have one, so I'll just call it template1. Look over in your files panel and you'll notice that a new templates folder has been added and that's where your template now lives. Um, so just want you to be aware that Dreamweaver ha has added this new folder and file. You may also have noticed that there is a Save As Template option under the File menu. Don't use it. It's for converting an existing HTML file into a template, and it will often mess up any designs that you have if you already have a template on the page. So try and ignore it if you can. Now, I'm going to make all the child pages before I do all of the design here. So to make the child pages, close out your template. Looks like I have to save my styles one last time before I do that. To make the child pages, go to File New. There's an option called Page from Template. This middle column will give you all of the sites that you've got listed. I only have the one. And then all of the templates that you have in that site. Again, I only have one. So go ahead and click Create. And you'll notice that I can't edit anything outside of here. This is the part where I said that you can't edit the things outside of the editable region. This is the only stuff that I can change. Now, to really quickly make all the pages in your site, File, Save As. I'll save this one as my index. 
Dreamweaver will actually put in the .html for you, so you don't really need to type that. I'll click Save. Here's the really short way. Control Shift S on a Mac, it's Command Shift S. And I'll make the rest of my pages this way. News, Control Shift S, Links, Control Shift S, Calendar, and About Dash Us. If you ever have a file name that should have a space in it, dashes are what every everything on the web prefers. And you can see I refreshed my files panel, and there's all of my HTML files. They're actually all open here in my in Dreamweaver as well. And the one thing I do want you to notice is that in the upper right-hand corner, there's a nice little tab telling you what template they're linked back to. So I'm going to close all of these, and then I'm going to open up my template again, because I need to do some CSS work in here and some other things. First off, I need to set the width of my container, and then I need to add um, left and right floating columns. So in my pound container, under box, I'm going to change the width to 960. The margins, I need to change to auto left and right in order for it to be centered. My screen resolution is set pretty small, so this isn't going to show up too well. Here, let me do this. There we go. You can see it's slightly centered. I will show you one thing that Dreamweaver does that's not quite right. You can actually make this a, the margin code a little bit smaller. If you do margin zero space auto, the first value indicates top and bottom margin. The second one indicates left and right. So I don't need to have margin left with one value, margin right. I can write it in slightly smaller code. Let me go back to my CSS panel because now I need to do my content, my sidebar, get them on the left and right. So I'm going to open up section. I'm going to go to box. And since this is 960, I will make this 760 pixels wide and float it to the left. My sidebar, my aside, I'll make that one 200 pixels and float it to the right. There we go. Now my footer is going to do weird things. You can see it's sort of slipping up under the sidebar. I have to worry about column collapse. Uh, I need my footer to run down so it's underneath of the content box and the sidebar box. To do that, I have to add one quick property to footer called clear both. And now whichever one of these areas gets the more stuff, the footer will always push down below them. Now, I didn't actually make a change to any of the HTML, just the CSS. So if I save the CSS file, it's not going to ask me to update the child pages, at least not yet. Now I want to actually make something that's going to update everything, and that's going to be the navigation. So my navigation is, uh, one of the best ways to do this is with an unordered list. So I'm very quickly going to change the word navigation to an unordered list and it's going to link to each of the different pages about us news links calendar and since these pages exist here I'm just going to use the point to file to very quickly link all of them about us news links and calendar great now I've got this. I've got my navigation bar. This I've actually made a change in the HTML. When I save this template file now, it's going to say, hey, do you want Dreamweaver to update all of the child pages? And the answer is yes, of course I do. Uh, this is exactly why we're doing all of this template stuff. So I'm going to click update. Dreamweaver in this little window is going to tell you how many files it tried to update and how many it actually did update. If these two numbers are different, then something went wrong. You can usually fix that by selecting one of the child pages and under modify templates you can force a template onto one of the existing pages if it didn't update properly. Now, this is almost done. I need to get the navigation bar, uh, I needed to get, get it horizontal. So to do that, I'm going to go into my CSS. If you've never done this before, I need to create a whole bunch of CSS selectors. 
I need to select the nav bar unordered list that's inside the nav the unordered list that's inside the nav bar. I need to select all the list items that are in there. I need to select all of the A tags, but not just the A tags. I need to select them in their different states, which is going to be a link and a visited for the first one. And then the last one, we have to do a focus hover and active. Um, focus is for when you are tabbing through the links on a page and it will select one of them in the same way it will hover. And active is supposed to be when you're clicking down on a button. Um, if these are all the same, it ends up being a much nicer way to do things. Let me refresh my styles panel. I don't I just want to enter them in manually so that you can see what they are. So to edit these, I'm going to leave nav alone for now. The nav UL, what you'll want to do is set the padding and the margin to zero for all of that. And then go to list. Set the list style type to none. And apply that. There's all the settings. And in design view, you can see that that nav bar is now up against the left edge. It's actually a good idea to do this exact same stuff, this exact same code to the list items as well. That won't do too much different, but some browsers prefer it on the unordered list, some of them prefer it on the list items. Now the list items are currently stacked vertically. To stack them horizontally, float them to the left. There we go. Now they're on the left. They're still not quite nice because they're smashed together. To do that, I need to adjust... I misspelled something. B-I-S-I-T-E-D. There we go. Now Dreamweaver found this uh, this one. The A link A visited, I'm going to change the under box, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, under block, I'm going to change the display to block. Yes, you go to block to change the display to block. It's a little extra. What that will do in my design is it puts a little box around each one of these. They're effectively div tags now. I can go into I can go into this now and give each one a width and a height. There we go. Now they're boxes. You may notice actually let me make those a little bit bigger. Let's make it 80. You may notice that some of them appear to be smashing together. This is Dreamweaver's not rendering everything exactly as it's supposed to. Um, what I need now is for the text to be centered vertically and horizontally inside the A tag. To do that, under type, set the line height to the same height as the box. I made my boxes 30. The line height will do is it will put it will take this number and put half above and half below. Under block, I can set the text align to center. The last thing I'll do for this is set, go into the focus hover active and just change the background color to light gray just so I can see what's going on. So let me go into live view. Now Dreamweaver seems to be rendering this properly. And you can see that I've got a nice little nav bar. You don't need to do background colors, excuse me, you could do uh, background images if you wanted instead. There we go, now it looks nice. So I made all this change to my template, that was actually just CSS changes, so I'll cha save my CSS, save all. Now I need to see if the site actually runs. I've got my template open, but I need to preview it, which means I need to get my index.html open, and I'm going to open this in Internet Explorer, or preview it in Internet Explorer. When the page loads, you'll see that it actually looks like nothing's happening. It is. I promise you it actually is working. But I can't tell because all the pages are effectively identical. So to fix that, here's my index page. In my content area, I'm going to add home and make it an H1. And you can see under here, I can keep adding as much information as I want. All of these pages will expand the content. The editable regions will expand to fill whatever I need. So then I'm going to go to each one of these. Calendar. 
about us. I'm hitting control one to add a heading one. There we go. I'll do a save all. Now if I refresh this page, there we go. Now as I link around, you'll see that I'm going to the different pages. Oops, I forgot news. So I can easily, anytime I can go back and edit any of these things I want. News, there we go. Excellent. Now, what you'll find is that oftentimes you'll want to add new stuff. Now, what you'll find is that you'll often want to add a new page. This is not terribly difficult. What I need to do is take one of my existing pages and duplicate it. Control D. Then I can rename it, and I'll call this one Stuff. I hit F2 to invoke the rename command. Stuff, well, since it's a copy of News, it says News, so I'm going to change that to Stuff. But it's not automatically added to my navigation bar. I need to go back into the template, and I'm going to do this in my code view. I'm simply going to take one of these, copy it, and change the link to stuff.html. You may notice that there's a dot dot slash. That's because the template is located one folder deep. When it actually creates the HTML files, it does fix these links for us. probably shouldn't say calendar twice, it should probably say stuff. Now, I'm in my template. Because I changed it in the template, it's going to get updated to every single page when I hit Control S or File Save. Do you want it to date all the, update all these pages? Yes, update. It examined six pages and updated them. We should be good to go. Now, these pages are open currently in Dreamweaver. They have little asterisks beside them. I'll need to do a save all. Saves them all at once. Let's see if it changed it. Refresh the page, there's my stuff link. Good, and every page now has stuff added to it. So that's templates. It is one of the more powerful features of Dreamweaver. Happy coding.